Where am I today? Can you guess? Ah, the pond at Central Park. I love this spot. You see the beauty of nature. That is nature. Ah, maybe that's uh, maybe that's truth. And the other side is the lifeless elegance of the skyscrapers. Plaza Hotel, the money. <laughs> so, what do I want to talk about today? Trump. Ah, Trump in the news. What did Trump do? Kicked off his rally. <laughs> Kicked off his uh, 2020 campaign in Orlando, Florida. That's pretty cool, right? So, I just want to look at some of what he said. You know, I just, I'm, I'm in a kind of a... <laughs> Kind of a philosophical place right now. Philosophical mood. This is the pond. This is the, um, this is not the pond that the boats, it's not the boat pond. This is the pond at the top of Central Park, right across from the Plaza Hotel. You definitely don't want to swim in there. There's probably some fish. <laughs> but it's probably, you know, it's, it's in the center of the busiest city in the world, which is kind of fascinating. So, so Trump, <clears throat> oh damn, the fucking president of the United States, man. You saw this shit in Orlando? Oh shit. <laughs> fucking Trump with platitudes everywhere, right? It's platitude, man. So he said, <clears throat> just a couple of it, I don't know, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to um, some other stuff. I don't know. <laughs> so, so Trump said, a new medical frontier. <laughs> this is going to be his pitch. We will push onward with new medical frontiers. <laughs> we will come up with the cures to many, many problems, to many, many diseases, including cancer and others. <laughs> and we're getting closer all the time. Quote, we will eradicate AIDS in America once and for all, and we're very, very close. Yeah. He's becoming, he's like, he's... he's what happened to the last four years? What has he said about medical anything? <laughs> well, healthcare, nothing. He doesn't know anything about it. Huh? What else did he say? <clears throat> U.S. The U.S. would lay the foundation for landing American astronauts on Mars. Yeah. As he said, the crowd goes crazy. Oh, fucking hell. That's my president. It's fiction, right? Is it fiction or is it real? Uh, so some more of the platitudes, and I'll leave Trump alone for a while. So he said um, in the speech, just some of the highlights. They said, we stared down a corrupt and broken political establishment, and we restored government of, by, and for the people. Ah, the crowd goes crazy. Is it true? <laughs> Our country is now thriving, prospering, and booming. And frankly, it's soaring to incredible new heights. Wow, fucking, it's like he's talking about a different world. He's talking about a different world, platitudes with no content whatsoever. Name one thing Trump ever uh, has done for healthcare other than crush Obamacare, which was, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's still there, right? It's not required, but it's still there if you want healthcare, right? It's still a mess. But he's going to cure cancer and AIDS. <laughs> and it makes it just makes you wonder, right? So, so what is so what is truth? Is truth is there any truth in that in those statements? Well, they're just nice gestures, you know, rallying points for the troops. Get them get them to the polls, right? That's what it seems like, right? That's what it seems like. Huh? And what about, you know, like yesterday I did um, and that's just that's the big picture. That's the big picture, Mr. Platitude, right? Well, what about the little picture? Right? We did a little interview with, you know, the, the internet sensation, Mr. DeFango. I like DeFango. I think he's, he's clever. When he's doing real research and real reporting, I, I, I think he, I remember him doing something about the border. You know, he was, he was reporting live from the border. That was kind of interesting, you know. But again, it's, you know, it's, it, the internet is full of rabbit holes and half-truths and... and, and opportunists right 
I'm not saying Defango is one of them, but Defango said to me in that interview that, and, I, and he, the reason I interviewed him is because there's a connection between him and Seth Rich, right? So Seth Rich's brother is is crying, defame. They defamed me. They're talking Defango, <laughs> defamed me. Well, no, actually not Defango defamed him, but somebody else defamed him, and Defango somehow has his foot foot in that. In that in that swamp, and they want to talk to Defango, so it's kind of interesting what what will come out of it. But in that conversation, you know, Defango said, "I asked him, are you Q?" Now Defango has claimed, among other people, not just Defango, but that he is Q. It's not the president, Q. <laughs> so Defango claims to have been Q or started Q, but he says he never posted as Q. All right? What else did he say? I have very p- powerful, powerful friends, he said. Well, that's good. It's nice to know people in high places. Do you know that, do you know that and- Anderson Cooper? Do you know Anderson Cooper? You talk about people in high places. You say to yourself, why does Anderson Cooper, why is he hired to, to work on CNN? Because he's, he's a privileged boy. He's, they're, they're people of privilege. His, fa- his mother... Anderson Cooper's mother was Gloria Vanderbilt. I bet you didn't know that, right? And it's not just Vanderbilt jeans, the money from the Vanderbilts. Vanderbilt was a, I don't know, a, you know, an entrepreneur, a, a philanthropist in the late 1800s. He gave a million dollars to the university in, in um, Nashville, Tennessee, where I was the other day, right? He gave a million dollars and started Vanderbilt College university in Nashville so he gave a lot of money because he felt he actually did it because he felt sorry for the the um, the, the damage that the north did to the south during the Civil War and he had never been there but the point is that or and or so Anderson Cooper's is is uh, is from that money and you ask yourself well how the, how, why is he so out of touch with real people is because He's not a real, real person. He's he's you know he, he lives in this this fantasy Manhattan bubble, you know of, of power and wealth, right? And the other guy standing next to him is Chris Cuomo, although Chris Cuomo's father, uh, Governor Mario Cuomo, uh, back in the I guess the late 80s, early 90s, Mario Cuomo was the governor, and 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 now his brother, uh, you know. Andrew Cuomo is the governor of New York, right? So, did Chris Cuomo ever struggle in his life? No, maybe his father did. But it's just, a, it, what I'm trying to say is that the, and Trump is the same, right? Trump is the same old. Trump never scrubbed dishes or, you know, or maybe never cooked his own meal. Maybe just out of curiosity he did, but never, never, never because he had to. You know what I mean? So, so when Trump says we're gonna, you know, we're staring down corruption and a broken political establishment, restoring, we restored. He did. It's he's not saying we're doing it. He said he did it already. We stared down a corrupt and broken political system. But but what was the consequence? You stared him down. Well, what, there's no consequence. Why? Where? Who? I'm gonna lock her up. Uh, you know, build a wall. It's nothing. Nothing ever becomes of it, but people love it, right? When there's no health care in the country, you know, it's, you know, there's a million, a million problems. The markets are about to collapse and, and you know, implode. Right. But you got, you know, you got, I, I, I'll get back to the other thing, is, which is you have the same kind of characters, opportunists online, right? I try to stay in the truth. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that that, that truth is important. Right? Uh, I'm gonna get back into the uh, hit by the tourist, the tourist, the tourist experience. So I just give you two. That's uh, Trump Tower over there, by the way. It's that big one right there. 57th Street and um, 5th Avenue, Trump Tower. Uh, 
That's the Plaza Hotel. That's where that uh, movie with Col Colley McCullen place uh, the home. <laughs> I forgot the name of the movie, but where he's a little the little kid, right? And he goes into FAO Schwartz across the street. I forgot the name of that. Home Alone? Home Alone. Well, William, this is a cool, this is a cool statue. A gold statue. Ah, my city. The city, the city that I'm from. So do we want to be a, a phony baloney? An internet LARP? Got 10 different lawsuits going, everybody's suing each other. Everybody's suing each other for attention. I'm gonna sue you! <laughs> you defamed me! <laughs> really? What's your damages? I, what, you, got, you, you, you can't post on Facebook anymore without people calling you an idiot? You know? I don't know. It's just yeah, I just think it's fascinating how 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 truth versus fiction. That's what I'm I guess what I'm trying to what's in my mind right now when watching Trump fantasize about a world that 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 could be a better place but has no idea whatsoever to get there. Has done nothing at all in the, in his time and his with his with his with his uh pulley pu bully pulpit of the presidency has done absolutely nothing to make health care happen and I'm sure in that in that uh, talk he gave a whole lot of stuff about the economy how the economy is booming right? but I, I just don't I mean I just don't see it I see I see a country floundering I see vast income and wealth inequality I see an internet full of People that claim to be telling the truth, but are just, you know, just, they're, they, they fall into that trap, and they get their foot down that rabbit hole, and someone approaches them and says, hey, here's a good idea. Let's sue this guy, and we'll, and we'll, we'll make a lot of money, and we'll get all the attention, and I'll give you the secret information. I'll, t I'll give you all the secrets. I'll tell you the secrets. And then you can tell your people, and you'll be big, and you'll be, you know, that kind of shit, right? But truth isn't that complicated. Uh, truth isn't. It's not that. It's not that complicated of a thing. The truth. Right. We all know the truth, right? The truth is not outside of us. The truth is within. Right? You sit. You quietly. You look at something. You read, and then you know your truth, and then enter other ideas or things that steer you away from the truth. Right. And you, could, you, may, you have to make a decision. Am I going to stay with my truth? Or, or am I going to sell, sell my, my, my essence <laughs> huh? and buy into someone else's truth because they're paying me? Right? I'm pretty sure that's for Pulitzer. Uh, statue. I'm not really sure which statue it is. I forget. But um, you can look it up. It's the one right in front of the Plaza Hotel. So anyway, day off today. Kind of just walking around the city. <laughs> Tourists and maps. So Marcus County reporting today. I have a couple of interesting guests lined up. Real people that I like. You'll be see. I'm not going to talk about them until they do the show. <laughs> but uh, for now, Marcus Conti reporting on the truth. <laughs>